When we think closing costs, we think this one-time fee, but when you break it out into, okay, there's true closing costs because those are fixed, non-recurring and recurring, but calling it impound accounts, it makes so much more sense. Um, it really clears it up. Thank you for doing that, Art. Well, and one other thing I'd, I'd note on that, just because I've, I just alluded to it, is how the impound account advance funds can change significantly depending on the timing of the year when you're doing your mm -hmm. refund. In fact, we're entering a period here, August, September, October, where if you pursue a refi now, you're going to have a pretty large chunk of money you have to put up up front. I mean, it can range now from, from about six months in August to eight months if you close in October. Wow. Why does it have to be eight months? Well, if you close in October, your first mortgage payment is until December 1st. And if you're making one payment on December 1st, obviously that lender is not going to have six months of taxes accumulated to pay that next installment that's delinquent after December 10th. So what you end up having to do is when you close that loan in October, the lender is going to say, you got to give eight months of taxes when you close that refinance. That money goes right to the lender. And then that way they've got enough to cover that six month installment. And of course, why do you have to put up eight months instead of six? Well, because they're allowed a cushion of two months. Mm -hmm. uh, so as a consequence, that's why these next couple of months, when you close a refi, when you look at that loan estimate and the non-recurring and the recurring are all lumped together on a line item for closing costs, you go, oh my God, it's going to cost me $11,000 to do this refi. No, it's going to cost you 3,500 maybe. But the rest of that, you know, 6,500 or 7,000 is all about that advanced funds for the eight months taxes. And if you're the double whammy is if your homeowner's insurance is due to renew in November, then you got to pay 12 months insurance when you close the refi plus another three months to set up the insurance impound account. Wow. So that's why it's a real head fake. And you've got to you know understand that aspect of it. And then then, of course, you have to decide how you want to provide those funds. Some homeowners will simply decide to roll that into their new loan amount, which actually what that means is you're financing that next installment of those advanced funds for insurance and taxes into your loan. If you're getting a 30 year loan, you're essentially financing it over 30 years. Whereas with other homeowners, they'll say, I don't want to increase my loan amount for that portion of this transaction. I recognize it's not fee based charges to me. Uh, I've got the money in the bank to cover that. So we'll set their loan amount at a level where it's going to cover all the non-recurring costs as well as their existing loan payoff, but then they'll provide the funds to escrow at closing so that that way their new loan amount isn't raised even further just to cover that initial expense because of the timing of when the next installments are due.